fell scroll. <laughs> oh, man. Give me that money. Aerial killer tree. So good. All the things. Alright, so... If I read that map correct... That'll leave me here. How sweet. Oh! Bye-bye! on a hoverboard? Uh, I read that. Uh, did I not comment on it? <laughs> it's an honor to- I don't think it's that weird. Wait a minute, what is he doing with his hands? I wish I could actually see, but they don't let me control the camera. Mogul is probably the most it? natural on it. Yeah. yeah, it looks pretty natural on it. Rides it with their arm on her hip. Right. Okay. Probably best one on the board. Right. Oh my god. <laughs> He's like holding out for dear life. <laughs> he is the best one on the board. <laughs> uh, Eleanor's probably normal on the board, right? Yeah, kind of the same as Velvet. I'm not waiting. So this is the area I couldn't get to. I found this area. Now leave me alone, you guys are low level. God damn, I thought they were too low for us to fight. <laughs> Come on, really? I mean, I guess we'll do all of them. This is the only one we haven't done yet, right? I can hit. Yeah, he's normal too. You'll be rust on my blade. Yes, yes, I know. I'm in. Huh? I'm up. All right. Let's head over to the port now. Get this over with. I'm so glad to have this board now. Oh my god, that just became so much easier. Collecting all these free holes.
Remember, it has his arms crossed being like, you know. <laughs> now, I don't think it, it's, it's arms crossed. It looks more like he's doing a, a kind of like a ninjutsu. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Wait, did we just get something special? Wait, that's, that's our starter weapon, isn't it? <laughs> How kind of loot is that? I feel cheated. Also... Okay, okay. Never mind. Losing my mind. Alright, let's go back to the prison. We got plenty of souls for that thing now. Um, still need like 150 other class 4 area. Not going there right now. Balance in the <laughs> That's what it looked like to me. At least I couldn't tell because we can't move the camera. I'm the lane that they did that. I guess a dragon was a bit much to take on, even for the Reaper. You should get some rest. We all should. I'll just get the crew started on readying the ship for our next departure. All right. You go do that. Luffy said, you should get some rest too. I'm fine. It's more important that I focus on finding an actual Therian this time. I'm going to take another try at sensing the Earth Pulse points. <sighs> You're starting to feel bad because you're trying so hard. <sighs> you're as stubborn as ever, Fee. <laughs> I love that I can use that. That is awesome. I'm glad I didn't take that away from inside. Out of curiosity. I'm gonna go back through first. Okay. Kind of have to go through anyway, right? Not easy to use it. Just say that. <laughs> Definitely not meant for tight corridors. I need to do the tree thing to be able to do all the time because I didn't get it. Yeah, no. I guess they just made it so, like, when you start in a new area. I think it's because, like, when you enter a new area, you can't use it until you find it to make it work for it. I kind of get it. I get it. Because then, like, imagine we go to a whole new area that we've never been to before and we could just glide across everything. Give everything. I, I get it.
give me nothing for it. Why are the freaking most expensive chests that I find giving me nothing? I don't understand that. Oh, good to see. I would assume that they don't specialize in her parts, yeah. I mean, he's Earth Molex, so I'm so is she. That only makes sense, right? Alright, let's go check out our cell where everybody's waiting for us. No, I haven't. This is my first ever Tales game. Uh, I do plan to play Tales of Zestaria after this. I watched it. Yeah, I watched the first season too. A long time ago. I don't remember any of it. <laughs> I remember bits and pieces here and there. That was it. Don't push don't yourself too hard now, Lafayette. You hear me? I hear you. I just... <laughs> I was actually gonna say, like, I didn't really enjoy the animated. So, I kinda hope the game is significantly better. <laughs> I only watched the first season of Tales. I didn't watch the whole thing. I, I didn't like it to be. Another worst Tales game. Oh, that makes me sick. I'm still gonna have to play. <laughs> I'm still gonna have to play. I told everyone I could find the Therians, but I've only sent us to the wrong places. Aizen, is there any way to boost Amalok's powers? <sighs> I guess it's okay for me to tell you this. The majority of Malakim today have their consciousnesses sealed away to be used as mere tools for the exorcists. But originally, Malakim were beings who received prayers from people and in return bestowed their blessings upon nature and mankind. So you're saying that when humans pray to a Moloch, the Moloch receives great strength? Yes. In general, at least. Some Molochim, like me, buck the system and bring about misfortune rather than divine grace. Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> the way but he said that. <laughs> who would ever pray to me? <laughs> Maybe it didn't lead us to any Therians, Fee. But it's not like we came back empty-handed. We found Ori Kalkum to use against Shigure. And we also learned we can hold our own against a dragon. Velvet. So where should we go next, Fee? North Gand. There's a big Earth Pulse point north of Helavis. Works for me. Aizen? We can leave whenever you want. Doesn't matter to me. And I'm all set. Let's make our way to the harbor. When I say prayers, I don't mean outright worshipping. All I'm talking about are earnest thoughts and feelings directed at you. I see. So I'm already receiving prayers then. This character both can save it. Expectations, but I think the story was pretty crap. Mm. Alright, well, I'll go at it. Way I approach all games with no expectation. <laughs> and, uh, that way I won't be completely disappointed. <laughs> Selma has her smile back. I know, right? It's like her heart is unbreaking. <laughs> Final Fantasy 13, best Final Fantasy. Uh, I won't deny Final Fantasy 13 out of the newer Final Fantasy, one of my favorites. From Final Fantasy X? No. Yeah, Final Fantasy X to now, I gotta say it was one of the better ones. Yes. In fact, so good that I want to play all the other sequels that they make afterwards. Uh, my personal favorite, though, is Final Fantasy IX. I know a lot of people say Final Fantasy VII, and Final Fantasy VII was very good, but I liked the world. Final Fantasy 9 
a lot more, and I like the adventure of Final Fantasy IX a lot more, where Final Fantasy VII felt more corporate political. And like Final Fantasy IX felt more like like a Tales game. More adventure, exploration, more, more of that. Never played it, I highly recommend it. Uh, it's dated, but it's still really good. It's still really good. I remember playing it again, I think like four years ago. <laughs> I replayed it, and it was still so good. Uh, the Spirit? Is that a new one? Wait, they're making another Tales game? Holy sh... Don't they already have like 16 of them? <laughs> Jeez. They really weren't kidding when they were saying like Tales is like the Final Fantasy. <laughs> uh, will Vesperia have any connection to the world of any of the other Tales games? Like Berseria and Zesteria? that you think Final Fantasy the franchise because it's one story just divided into three games. You no, you can't do that. <laughs> it's a trilogy, I'll give you that. Our next target is north of Pelavis, near the Faldi's ruins. In light of everything we know, I'd say it's highly likely we'll find a Therian there. Let's hope. Then we should make our first stop, Port Pelavis. With the, uh, mischief we got into last time, getting into the city might prove difficult. Benwick, how are things in Helavis right now? That shipping guild that used to handle our mooring is pretty much toast. But for some reason, the Abbey isn't watching the port as much as they once were. Unfamiliar ships have been hauling in relief supplies, so if we pose as one of the transport ships, I think we can slip in. And if we divert some supplies to an unofficial channel, we might be able to secure a new mooring partner. Smuggling in relief supplies for our own disaster. Cheeky bastards, aren't we? It's what'll get us in. That much is true. It's a plan. Roger. I'll get right on it. Okay. That's always good. If it's a remake, I hope they're smart and they put it on, on PC. <laughs> I can only play it if it's on PC. Uh, so that's why I, I actually looked this up. because This actually opened my eyes to the uh, series. I've never played a tail series. So this opened it up. So I'm definitely interested in playing Zysteria. And the only other Tales game that they have is apparently Sim. Which looks like it's pretty dated, but I don't have a problem playing older games. I might even consider playing that. Uh yeah, we were gonna do this. Our scout ship! Alright. Show them how. Okay. Got a skip. Hey, Eleanor. Abbey exorcists don't pray to their tethered Malachim, do they? You mean something besides our oaths? An oath is a magical formula that grants you power in exchange for binding you to a rule, right? Yes, though that is simplifying it a bit. When Malachim receive human prayers, they bestow their blessings upon people in nature. Aizen told me that we Malakim grow stronger when humans pray to us. Prayers and blessings? I've never heard of that. I used to think the same way as the other exorcists. Malakim are merely tools that allow us the use of arts. Yeah, that's what I figured. But he know me not as different. The exorcists all worship him. They have faith in his mighty power. And not only that, the people of this nation pray to the Empyrean for salvation. Just as Artorius instructs them. Ah, I get it now. See the wheels turning, do you, kiddo? Huh? Artorius founded the Abbey within the existing Church of the Empyreans, so that he could direct the people's thoughts towards Enominat, so that even while they lionize Artorius as their savior, they're made aware of Enominat's presence behind him. Everyone starts believing in Enominat. The prayers of the entire world go to him. Becoming his power. After the centuries-long decline of Empyrean worship, 
He becomes stronger than anyone today could imagine. The pieces do fit. Oaths, prayers, blessings, the demon blight. So much in this world is affected by matters of the heart. They hold magical power, both effective and meddlesome. We are truly going up against the rest of the entire world, aren't we? Don't look so troubled, Eleanor. I'm gonna do my best to get stronger. So believe in me. I am a Moloch, after all. Oh, Luffy said. You've become so brave so quickly. Have I? But you're still cute when you get embarrassed. Hey, why is your face so red? Huh? My face isn't red. Hmm? <laughs> Play chill. They put up peace. That's awesome that they're gonna put that on. Smart. That's really smart. I think nowadays, anyone who does a remastered or remake, it always considered peace. Switch. Definitely the Switch. Switch has been kicking butt. Yeah, I, if they keep going on this streak, Nintendo can be a real console competitor. I'd say by the end of this year. Because they've been kicking butt right out of the gates with the games that they've released. Like, I think they could be a real console competitor if they keep this up until the end of the year. Um, just out of curiosity, just about the pump, right? No, okay, so just do the skit. Hmm. He has glasses. What the hell? That's just. Hey, Aizen. What's it feel like to get a letter? I don't feel anything, nor do I want or need to. There's no joy in receiving these things. Huh? Why not? <laughs> don't be so shocked. Look. It's just an invoice from the Turtles. What's the big deal, anyway? Do you wish you'd get letters, too? Yeah. But I don't have anyone to send letters to. Let alone anyone who would send me any. Luffy said, I've got a letter for you. What? Really? What? Who could it be from? The sender is... Oh the Enfu? Yep, yep! I ah! got a letter from yours, truly! <laughs> I figured you'd be wanting someone to send you a letter right about just, now, just so I wrote burn one it. up for burn you. Burn it in the face. What do you think? <laughs> You're happy, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Thanks, Bianfu. Burn it right in front of me. I'll even read it for you. Him, <laughs> <laughs> dear Moloch Luffy set. I hope that this letter finds you in good health and high spirits. Thankfully, I'm doing well myself, with no major changes to report. The Enfu's taking all this so seriously. It's so rare to actually see him like this. As you're aware, I've been spending my days ironing Mogilu's outfits, sewing her buttons, and washing her hat and tremendously long socks. Recently, however, I made the mistake of remarking to her that she might not have been quite as slender as she once was in her yellow oh. years. She hung me upside down from the roof in the middle of the cold. I nearly became a frozen Norman sickle. It was so horrible that I couldn't stop my tears from flowing down my little cheeks. Bien. <laughs> uh, there's the Bienfu we know and love. But all you wrote about in that letter was yourself. And you even read it out loud yourself. That's okay. Thanks, Bienfu. <laughs> It feels nice to get a letter. That's so kind of you to say. I think I might cry again. <laughs> As is not. <laughs> Move on. Work again. I think that's actually where our side quest is that too. We've loaded everything bound for Helaviz. With that much trade, I doubt anyone will suspect us. Any idea who can give us cover for docking? Not anyone in particular, but recently the power and influence of the Helaviz Fisherman's Guild has caught my eye. The Fisherman's Guild, huh? Let's bring them some extra relief supplies. Fuel, drink, and as for the drink... Twelve-year-old Amber Draft. The sailors of Helaviz have an eye for the stuff. You heard that from Dial, I take it. He's got a sharp eye. He took a bottle in payments, but I say we turn a blind eye to it. We thought we were the best at this kind of thing, but having him around has been a real eye-opener. 
Okay, but tell him if he takes a second, he'll pay for it. Eye for an eye. Aye, aye. I'll keep an eye on him so that he doesn't sneak off with another bottle. <laughs> We're getting your crap so ah. That kind to of... <laughs> I believe he's not kind to get food for anything. <laughs> Even when, like, she's in a good mood, she's trying to torture him. Because she enjoys it. The supplies are loaded. We can make for Helavis whenever you want. That was fast. If we weren't hard workers, we wouldn't be sailors. <laughs> Eleanor! <laughs> this kid annoys me so much. What's wrong, Kamoana? She, uh, she said she had a dream about her mom. When mommy saw me, she said I looked scary. That she didn't want a scary little girl like me. <laughs> it's gonna get so messed up. Your mother up. would never say that, sweetheart. She finds out that she ate mother. But how can you be sure? Well, uh, how do I put it? I know because I know. You're just lying to make me feel better. Oh my god. Aw, come on, don't cry. That voice. I... <laughs> oh, this is the part I hate about little kids. That's right. Let it all out. Stop it! Stop it! Mommy! I saw my mommy! She didn't want me! <laughs> ah, it's just so screechy, her voice. She I'm surprised it doesn't to bother yourself to sleep. They're not rational creatures. Sometimes you just gotta let them cry it out. You seem used to it. I guess you could say that. Luffy usually kept himself together when he was younger. But when he was really little, he had times like this every now and then. Uh. And on that note, let's take off all we can. My liege, Dial, I leave Kamoana in your care. I'll do what I can. But kids as sweet and honest as her are harder to deal with than corrupt bureaucrats. An outlaw prince and a talking lizard are no replacement for a mother. She finds out. I expect that. <laughs> it's gonna be real bad when she finds out that she's a mother. I do hope Kamalana isn't crying anymore. Yeah. Shush. How long is it going to be before you send in another exorcist to replace Lady Teresa? With these demons clamoring at her gates, none of us feel safe anymore. You have our deepest sympathies, but we were sent here on a different mission. That's what the last exorcist who came here said before leaving for the north. What could be up there that's worth all that attention? Here Surely we're not all being punished by the Abbey for what happened with Medissa, are we? That is not the case. Now, if you'll excuse us, we have business to attend to. We just got the name of Arthuria. <laughs> well... I don't think so, because... So the exorcists are just passing through town and heading straight north. Odd. To our knowledge, the only way to turn a demon back in form is by having velvet. So I don't think that's ever gonna happen. That would mean... Or not velvet, but ethereal. Got it. 
That's the only way that we know of. Turn. And turn the demon back to you. Basically killed them and absorbed all the monopolies. <sighs> Ever since the Calamity showed up, everything's just gone to pot, I say. Calamity? What do you mean? I mean the demon who barged in and made a mess of our fair city. She's a nasty creature of pure evil, with an arm that eats anything that gets in her way. Haven't you heard of her? The Calamity's been rampaging across the whole kingdom, not just here. Scant few have seen her and survived. Huh. Oh, God. You don't say. <laughs> After the, the Calamity, calamity raised now. our ships and our port, the shipping guild fell apart, and our trade routes got poached by other How ports. They not it's her? bad. The town relies on trade to make ends meet. People are abandoning the city, and our streets are no longer safe. Not to mention the demon blight spreading again. Just the other day, a little kid turned into a demon. Just like that. What a world. What a world. What have the exorcists been doing during all of this? Well, Lady Teresa was in charge of this region, but she came up short against the Calamity and got a fat demotion for her troubles. Several new exorcists have been reassigned here, but once they arrive, they all traipse right off to the ruins up north. This has to be Medissa's fault. If she hadn't gone and done something so stupid... Medissa... That's enough. This isn't something for outsiders to know. You're right. Sorry. <sighs> I'm really worried about what's going to come of this town. It sounds like Helovis isn't what it used to be these days. We need to ask around and find out more about what's going on here. Agreed. Especially regarding the Abbey and those ruins. I'm also curious about this Medissa woman. The ruins part makes sense, since the Earth Pulse Point might be there. But why do you care who Medissa is? Just a hunch. Something tells me she's worth looking into. She's probably the You're not gonna look into this calamity chick? She sounds like a real terror. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll pass. I already know plenty about what makes her tick. <laughs> you know what? You know what's one thing that's very surprising? I know it's a game. <laughs> I know it's you know, a JRPG. Got that anime style. How are there not wanted posters of it in her game? And Abby knows what they look like. <laughs> Abby knows everything about them. Why have they not made their lives more difficult than other people. Are you alright, Madam Eleanor? Don't let those people get you down. I'm fine. Thank you for your concern. Uh, but could you not do that thing where you blow air on me to dry my tears? Alright, I'll just pat your head then. That won't be necessary either. <laughs> but really, things are in a terrible state. The town burned, the guild ruined, the abbey all but gone. It won't be a functioning port for some time. You can't fault them for being upset. They had it real good here until we came along. Those Helovisians were like spoiled children. How so? Helovis was once a tiny fishing village. The bountiful northern seas provided plenty enough fish to sustain their trade. But Flamestone gave them an easy way to get rich. And once they got a taste, they abandoned their old craft. And now they're paying the price. But I've heard that the cooling temperature has covered half the Northern Sea in ice drift, making fishing much more difficult. Uh, but the drifting ice carries tiny organisms, enriching the waters where it melts. The fish should be more plentiful than ever. I suppose you may have a point. We're ones to talk after what we did, but taking the easy path, then complaining as soon as it gets hard, that seems... Spoiled, yes. <laughs> You said it, Laffy said. I think my appetite's getting a little overindulgent, too. <laughs> That's not a bad thing. Just means you're healthy. Giant squid come to these waters in this season. Should I ask Benwick to fish some up? Yeah, and some normal octopuses, too. <laughs> uh, maybe that Abby didn't want to show the public that they have Travis and Neil with them? Yeah, that's that's actually pretty reasonable. Uh, they actually have shown signs of that. that thought. So yeah, I can agree with that. I can agree with that. Yeah, you, you bring up a valid point. That could be the reason why they have. This calamity is us, isn't it? Well, 
We've been waging war with the Abbey everywhere we go, and now we're about to take it to a new level. If we pull the next Therian off of the Earth Pulse point, it'll likely be Kamoana's village all over again. The same devastation? Ooh! I wonder if there's something worse than calamity that they can call us! This is no laughing matter. People turn into demons in part due to their own malevolence. It's not like they're entirely innocent. But if there's someone out there who's being forced to act as Inominat's mouth, like Kamoana was, isn't saving them the right thing to do? I cannot argue with that, but... You don't have to worry. I'm the one who will devour the barrier. And I'm the one who will do what needs to be done. I already know who she is. Yeah, she, people do know that. But it's all on rumors. And speculation. Uh, and spreading of stories. Because at every... Here's where Illidota's reason actually makes a lot of sense. At every location that we do, anytime people have talked about, the Abbey has denied. Oh, everything's fine. Everything's great. If you remember every other time we've been. So you thought it might be onto something there. The demon attacks have ground trade to a halt. But people are slowly starting to fish again. Are you a fisherman too? Aye. This town got swept up in the recent trade boom. But back when I was a young lad, this was a fishing port through and through. Ever since the shipping guild took over the docks, all of us fishermen got muscled out. Making this a commercial port has helped the town grow. But a lot of people weren't so happy with the guild. It's too bad everyone couldn't just work together. Once money gets involved, people change. That's true no matter what age you live in. The people know it's the ones making the money who lead the charge. But we follow anyway. It's human nature. I hope everyone changes their minds once we start rebuilding. But who knows what will happen. Yeah, yeah. Well, that is true as well. Uh, there's been a couple people who have not said anything to us because we were with... Clearly looks like an exorcist. That's another reason. Hey, do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Sorry, I'm busy. Try someone else. <sighs> Excuse me. My name is Eleanor, and I'm an exorcist on patrol with the Abbey. I was wondering if I could solicit your honest opinion about how this town is being run. Oh, I didn't realize there was an exorcist with you. Yes, please tell the Abbey we want Lady Teresa back. Her governance was strict, it's true, but at least we could live in safety. Now, all the exorcists run off to the Faldi's ruins and leave us here in the lurch. They value some dusty, faraway ruins over the lives of the good, hard-working citizens here. It's just wrong. We've always been cooperative with the Abbey's demands. And now this is what we get in return. I... I see. The Abbey appreciates your, uh, candor. I'll pass your comments on to my superiors. Oh, uh, clearly the ruins is with you. That's pretty obvious. Uh... Our scout ship Treasure? A new recipe. Recipe. I gotta try it. Treasure? Scout ship. I was right. <laughs> yeah, no, you're also right about that. A lot of people don't suspect this because we are with Ellen. That is another reason. In a, in a, in a way, you're both right. Because Yabby hasn't spread stories about us because what Dota said. Then what you say about Elmar, that is also true by people take a second glance at us, probably. 
Come, sinner. Oh, this guy again. Okay. <laughs> Who's it gonna Are be you this time? Talking fight? to me. <laughs> yes, you with those eyes that would belong on the Reaper's face. I. Oh. I, I, I'm sorry for bothering you, sir. If you don't have anything you need to confess, sir, that's fine. No, actually, there is one thing I'd like to get off my chest. Of course. Go right on ahead. This all happened a long time ago. But this Turtles brought over a painting by the master artist Beryl Benito. It was a gorgeous work of art. Too beautiful for words. The price was a little steep, but I couldn't help myself. Only later, I found out it was a total fake. So, you want to repent for letting yourself be guided by worldly desires? No. Buying it was my decision. I don't have any regrets. Even if the painting itself was fake, my heartfelt admiration for its beauty was real. What are you going on about? Did you say something? N nope. Uh, then what? for what do you wish to repent? Yeah, you're not making the any truth sense. is, when I saw that painting, I didn't have enough money on me. So I... Uh, Swiped 100 gold for my little sister's hidden savings. Oh. That's, uh, the one part I wish I'd done differently. <laughs> I see. Fear not, my son. No matter what the Empyreans may decide, I know your sister would forgive you. I hope so. He actually gave a real... That wasn't funny. <laughs> Come, sinner, and repent your wicked deeds. Do you mean me? Yes, or at least I would, but perhaps you're too young to have done anything to repent. Uh, no, there is something. I've kept it a secret so far, but I'll confess it now. And I shall listen, my son. Not too long ago, I found a slug in the forest, and I read in a book that if you sprinkle salt on a slug, it'll shrink. I wanted to try it out for myself. So... So you sprinkled salt on the slug. It's true, that was not a good act. But if the experience taught you to respect life and its fragility, then the slug's sacrifice was not in vain, and... No, that's not what happened. I messed up, and I put sugar on the slug, not salt. And... And then... The sugar attracted a whole bunch of ants <sighs> to the slug. And they... It was awful. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Slug. <laughs> you didn't deserve that. It's okay. I forgive you. It was all a terrible accident. There's... One more thing. I wanted to see what would happen if I poured sugar water down an ant hill. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry to you too, Ant. <laughs> Kids can sure be weirdly cruel sometimes. <laughs> Love is just killing things left and right. Agilus was still with the best. I'm sorry. Agilus had the best recent part. <laughs> First it was the sailors, and then even a small girl caught the demon blight. I was sure it was going to start spreading through this town as well, but then after that incident, it just went poof and disappeared. I guess I was expecting a little more after hearing how contagious it was. I wonder what really causes it. Who knows? I heard of this one village in East Gand where everyone caught it at once. It wiped out the entire town. <laughs> I hope the Abbey develops a cure quickly. I think that was I can't wait village. for the day where we can live without fear. Poor, poor Medisha. Are you a friend of hers? Yeah. 
She used to live just down the road from me. Medissa raised her daughter Diana all on her own. And then they up and murdered the girl. Murdered? By whom? The exorcists. Once Diana caught the demon blight, the damned Abby exterminated her like a rat. How cruel. I felt just terrible, but I suppose there wasn't much else to be done with her. But Medissa, she hated the Abbey for what they'd done, so she barricaded herself inside the sanctuary. She just kept on screaming, all like, demons have feelings too. What happened after that? I wouldn't have been surprised to see her executed, but luckily she was spared that much. An exorcist stopped the guard who was about to cut her down, said, Don't kill her. She's receptive. Receptive? Huh? I think that's yep. their way of referring to her deep faith. Before all this, she was a real devout lady. Oh, that was certainly kind of them. Medissa really cherished her daughter. Can't much blame her for blowing up like that. But the Abbey, they don't care so much about feelings. Reason is all that matters to them. They don't take kindly to people disrupting their order. <sighs> what a sucker. Now I'm ready to hear all this. Because <laughs> she's... All she's ever done is try to do the greater good, you know? Pretty sure that's how she's lived her entire life. And then, like, she's finding out everything that she did, everything that she worked for. The opposite of what she did. <laughs> what suck? If you go north from Helebes, you'll come upon the Faldi's ruins, which are Abbey property. Mainly, it's used as a checkpoint for hauling ore that's extracted out of Mount Killeraus. But between you and me, I hear the Abbey also uses it as a prison camp. A prison camp? Are they capturing demons? Heavens no! The demons they kill on sight. No, these prisoners are human criminals. Not long ago, this woman killed mm. someone and locked herself up in the sanctuary. I hear she got hauled off to the camp. Why do you think the Abbey would use the ruins for a prison camp? Who knows? The Maybe they humans. need a place to deal out their harshest punishments. Them feed them to the the Abbey's not known to be forgiving, after all. <laughs> uh, but these are just nasty rumors I heard. Of course, I don't believe a word of it. It's the prison island all over again. Yeah, they really don't learn. <laughs> that didn't really work out so well. Whatever. It's a book titled Words and Deeds of the Hero King. The king declared, My people, you must always live with great vigor and hold hope for the world and for our future. Man can turn reason into disorder, but also can we surpass it. Our true power is in transcending the possible to achieve the ideal. My people, you must live without hesitation. Hold hope in your hearts. Hold hope for tomorrow. Transcending the possible to achieve the ideal. Lord Artorius, I have successfully translated all of the documents left by your predecessor. However, I have concluded that 
For the time being, it is impossible to form packs with all four Empyreans. As I feared, not even my predecessor could achieve more than two. I suppose using the fifth Empyrean is my only option. Is that even acceptable? Doing so would require... I will do whatever needs to be done. I betrayed my teacher. I betrayed the mission he gave his life for, that he entrusted in my hands. For a time, I thought I could bear the weight of my sins and go on living with Selica by my side. But now, she's gone. Yes. Man can turn reason into disorder, but also can we surpass it? Our true power is in transcending the possible to achieve the ideal. I must bring about the ideal world. I couldn't protect the people I loved. But this, at least, I will accomplish. Arthur? Huh? What is it, Velvet? Were you just talking to someone? No. I was just thinking out loud. Oh, okay. I, uh, finished making dinner. Tonight is prickle boar stew. Plenty of meat, but not too heavy. <laughs> Sounds great. Let's hurry on back home, then. I don't know exactly what all that means, but it kind of sounds nice. I suppose. Actually, it doesn't make much sense to me either. It's too dense for me. So he was already playing. Okay. Interesting. if you'd let us put on a little comedy show what do you say sounds good to me just try and keep it low oh god key. again i don't want to attract the enemy's <laughs> attention <laughs> that's a tall order wherever we go the boy and i have him rolling in the aisles the boy uh -oh. wait you mean me i sure do i'll play the straight man you play the funny one don't sweat it even if you mess up you'll be adorable the audience will just lap it up did you memorize the script i wrote you yeah i think so Great! I knew you could do it! But if you merely follow the script and adhere to its every word, you won't be very funny. You need to ad-lib in your own style. For you, that's buttering up the audience and winning them over. Ad-lib? I'm not sure I can do that. I have faith in you, this kiddo. Gonna be a disaster. You're gonna discover a part of you that you never knew existed. Just focus on finding ways to charm our audience. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Oh, right! Then let's get this show rolling! Hi there! We're a boy and his witch! Your partners in comedy today! Magic Kazam! We're still new to the comedy business, but we'll do our best to give you a memorable show! I'm Fee, the cute one, and this blustering witch is... Muggy Lou! Wait, who are you calling blustering? Meow! S sorry I just suddenly felt like doing an imitation! An imitation? Like, of a cat? Not just any cat, a nearby cat! Meow! Huh? You're losing them! Time to go on our charm offensive! Roll with it, kiddo! Every slip up is just a new opportunity in disguise! Uh, see? It's supposed to be a pun on how cats sound and how near is pronounced! Oh, I didn't actually hear a nearby cat meow like that or anything. He's explaining the joke? Are you going crazy, Lafayette? What good does explaining a bad joke do? Like, you told me to ad-lib to try and win our audience over, didn't you? I figured maybe if I explained it to them, they'd get the joke and find it funny. Just stop. Even if they get the joke that way, it's just going to be sad. I don't mind that. I'm not afraid of messing things up. I just want to make sure our audience feels valued. No, no, you have the right idea, but... I guess I should mention, Moggy Lou's the one who came up with the script. She just made me come and act it out. <sighs> I don't care if it made the audience happy, you just sold me out! <laughs> I can't work with you like this, no way! <laughs> there were actually pieces. I'd say we got a lot of ad-libbing into our routine today. 
How was the show? <sighs> I'll just say one thing. You need a better writer. It wasn't me. <laughs> you need a better writer. <laughs> it wasn't me. <laughs> now we have demons rampaging through our towns. Northgan's really had a string of bad luck. The weather's gotten even colder. Mercio's port is blocked by an ice drift. And hardly anyone sails the North Seas anymore. But relief supplies have made it up here, right? It may fill our bellies, but not our hearts. Huh? If the Abbey truly wants to save this town, there's something we need more than food or gold. Lady Teresa. Oh, yeah, that's right. If only I could be pierced once more by those fierce ice cold eyes. This is the crazy eyes. fan guy. Oh, punish me, Teresa, my love. Wow. Can we make it so that he doesn't get any more supplies? Uh, Lady Teresa. My life is for you. Wow. It didn't break it to you, buddy, but she's into you. <laughs> Just saying. I can't believe the demon blight has spread into the city now. Scary times. Well, the one who caught it was a little girl, so they were able to deal with her before anything bad happened. But the problem was that the demon girl's mother tried to hide her. That's only human nature. These are dangerous times. We dare not let our emotions control us. One person's selfishness could endanger the entire community. Oh, uh, right. Thankfully, an upstanding citizen noticed something suspicious and reported the child to the Abbey. But the mother went mad and killed him in retribution. And what makes it all the Damn. more lurid is, I heard the man she killed was a fellow she was actually thinking about marrying. Oh. The daughter had been dead set against her mother remarrying. You can taste the irony. That's... that's horrible. Eh, she had it coming. If there's anything worse than demons, it's people who can't control themselves. So, Diana was a girl turned demon who was killed by an exorcist. And her mother Medissa hated the Abbey for it. And the Abbey is using the Faldi's ruins up north as a prison camp. It's a lot like what happened to Kamawana, isn't it? It's natural for a mother to love her own child. To make that a crime. What I'm curious about is the use of the word receptive to describe Medissa. So long as there is one receptive to divine power, Therian shall be forever reborn. If our interpretation of that ancient book is right, it likely means she's receptive to Inominat's power. She's private. Meaning they brought Medissa to those ruins where there's an Earth Pulse point. And then they made her into a Therian. That would certainly put all the pieces together, yep. Plus, if this Therian the Abbey created already hates them, that's all the better for us. Yeah, I imagine she'd be willing to work with us. Although, it sounds almost too easy. Did I jinx it? I just jinxed it, didn't I? Probably. But we won't find out until we try. True. Let's head for the ruins. And don't worry, you totally jinxed it. The Faldi's ruins are north of Hell of These. The Earth Poles point is to the north, too. Probably in the very same place. Helovis is different now, isn't it? Maybe. But you've changed too. True. When I first met all of you, I never could have imagined I would go on such a journey. I could barely even think then. But then Velvet let me keep this compass. And Aizen and Rokuro taught me to be myself. They certainly did. And look at Dial. He's a regular part of the Von Altia's crew now. Even Restless Bienfu and Grimoire are now part of our merry band. Yeah! Hey, aren't you forgetting someone? Oh, and the prince and his dog <laughs> and Kuragane and Kamawana are with us. They're gonna skip over. Listen, I've got more part in this tale than any of them. Hush. Whatever I'd say, you'd say it doesn't matter to you. At last, you begin to understand me. Magic as I am. <laughs> Dealing with the cold. Uh, I didn't think Northgand would be this cold. But Northgan was Teresa's territory. Wouldn't you have been here with her? 
I think having my awareness controlled meant my senses were dulled as well. I see. But the cold doesn't seem to be bothering Aizen at all. In fact, everyone else seems comfortable here. If you shiver at these temperatures, you'll never make it on the high seas. In my youth, I practiced the blade under the blazing sun and through raging blizzards. Besides, when I turned into a demon, extreme temperatures ceased to affect me. The same thing happened to me. I used to hate winter. So that's some good luck. But what of yourself? You seem to be handling it just fine. I'm freezing, actually. I don't know how you stand it. I loathe the cold more than anything. That's why I've armed myself with a secret weapon. I've stuck thin, yet powerful, cuckoo brand hand warmers all over myself! I even packed them in my shoes! Really? So that sounds amazing! I'm willing to share! Barely if you have act like a dove. Off. What? Go cuckoo! Like a dove! Please share your cuckoo warmers with me. Cuckoo. <laughs> mm, you're no velvet, that's for sure. <laughs> Go cuckoo. <laughs> Alright. We're gonna save it there, guys, and we're gonna end it for today's stream. It's been a really long stream, actually. That's uh, about seven and a half hours we did today.